So we are at uh, CB 2012 here at uh, uh, Gear O Mat. Oh, the O is broken. Oh, the O is broken. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Gear O Mat. So what does it do? The Gear O Mat is a vending machine that is based on a web shop application. That means what we do is uh, we sell stuff in a web shop, which is displayed here, and uh, you can choose where you are. You can choose the category you want. Then you click on the product you want to buy. And then after you log in, you are just logged in, you can click buy now. The web shop processes the order and tells the Giromat you can sell now and give the product now. A real cool. product. A real product. And where does it go? It goes into this. You can take it out. And since it's a head, nice. You can put it on your head. And 666 cool euros. That was yeah, that was expensive. Pet. That's why I can afford it, and you can. Um, today is for free. Today is for free. <laughs> Um, the cool thing is, this is a website. You can also display it on your uh, cell phone or on your iPad. And if you are in front of a Giromat, you can buy with your account any product you want to buy. And buy it on your mobile phone and it comes out here also. It's just you, can, you can reserve it in advance, so it's you only for you? It in advance, it's just a web shop. You can do everything you can do in a web shop. And the payment is handled by the web shop. That means you can use a credit card, you can use PayPal, you can uh, get just a bill for it. So, so uh, how much does it cost? The gear mat itself costs yeah. 15,000 euro. Is this 50? 15,000. 15. 15. 15. That's affordable. That's affordable. It's like a car, no? No, no it's like a small car. car. Small car. Uh, it gets, you, you can use uh, several different vending machines. That means it gets cheaper if you have a vending machine without the elevator or a vending machine without the how, LEDs. How, or how stuff much like does that. it cost for a soda? The same system. Soda? Yeah, no. The same system is the same price, but if you want to have a spiral out of uh, vending machine, then it will be cheaper for example 10,000 euros. But how much is just this part? This part is two and a half thousand euros. Two and a half thousand euros. Yeah, because so can we check it out how it looks? Can, of course you can check it out. I guess I have the key. Yeah, I have the key. The key to the system. And this system is cool because it's based on an NVIDIA Tigra 2 ARM processor. There's a Tigra 2 in here. Yeah, and the Tigra 2 is with, uh, beyond this uh, cooling ribs. What we have is a, is a baseboard which handles all the vending stuff. You can attach some uh, coin readers or stuff like, like this to it or NFC payment. And there's a Q7 board on it. Q7? Q7 board where you can... Uh, Change it to other processors. It means if there is a Tigra 3 board, you can put a Tigra 3 board on it and run the software. Nice. You can attach a, a, a high definition screen to it, you can attach anything we want to it. Since we have a Linux based uh, Tigra 2 board, and we can dri uh, write every driver ourselves. What is this? Uh, well, this is the touch controller um, for the touch screen on the front. Touch screen for the front, which is a 7 inch. 7 inch. 7 inch. Yes. What's the resolution? Uh, the resolution is, I guess, 640 times 480. I'm not sure. Uh, we can use resistive or capacitive touch screens, touch panels. We can change the size as we wish, since we uh, accept everything ourselves. Is it waterproof? Uh, this one isn't, but if you have a, a capacitive with uh, a glass in front, then it's waterproof. Nice. It fits into an off-the-shelf vending machine. Off the shelf. This is an off the shelf vending machine. Can we open again? Yes. You bought this off the shelf. It's off the shelf. This, yeah. We bought and off how the do shelf. You, how do you? This ah. is our product, which fits in the uh, vending machine. So how do you how do you activate all these things? This is activated by serial bus. Is that a normal thing for every uh, vending it's machine? Normal RS two three two. That's the standard for this vending machine? Yeah, that's the standard the protocol for this is, uh, is uh, vendor specific. It means uh, the protocol you handle a vending machine is defined by the vendor of the vending machine. But uh, we have hats here. Yeah, yes. hats, yes, of course. What can you have here? Is normal? You can have stuff behind? That's normal? That's normal. That's normal yes. And uh, that's does, our it really cost, does it really cost 15,000 normal vending machine? Minus 2,500? Uh, yeah, you, you have to um, price range. That's the normal price for this. We need some power relays also. That's something we have to build in. We have to put in the LEDs. Um, yeah, Where we have to put, put the in LEDs? the coating. This one here that is, is coated. 
can uh, have any color or any uh, anything you want to print on it, you can print on it. No coins. Uh, the coins, you can put coins in here also. You can also do coin machine. Coins, credit card readers, uh, note readers, NFC readers, you can put anything in it. Since well, the idea is you pay over your mobile. Yes. Or you pay uh, over touch screen or something. Yeah, you can pay however you want to since it's a web shop. What, do you, what is the example here? Some... These are uh, XFP and SFP transceivers. They are for data centers who connect uh, optically with other data centers. So what does your company do? Just that? That and this one here. That's the so-called Flexbox. And the Flexbox does nothing else but programming transceivers. This, what? That's an optical transceiver, which optical has transceiver. optical fiber uh, connectors. So you have a fiber around your, you use a fiber around your neck. Why? Uh, to get the attach the transceiver around my neck. <laughs> that's the reason. And usually, you can uh, transfer optical signals into electrical signals. That's why you use transceivers. That means you have an electrical switch in your data center and you want to communicate optically to another data center, then you have to use a transceiver like this one. And this box does nothing else but you plug it in here and then you have a web-based software uh, behind this and you can program it to a vendor-specific, like HP or Cisco transceiver. Then you put it out again and you have an HP transceiver and we have money. <laughs> That's our you have money? We have the money. What we, do you mean you have the you money? Are, you are charged for it. You're charged you get, for it. You get a, a clean transceiver yeah. and we charge for programming it to whatever you want to. How much? That depends on what you want to. <laughs> okay. So these transceivers can cost without being charged up to 5,000 euros. It just depends on which transceiver you like use. Like a normal transceiver? Like a normal, this one this is maybe... 5,000 euros? No, already? this costs maybe 50 euros, but yeah. uh, there are some which cost 5,000 euros. Why? Because uh, they long are... Long reach. Long reach? Long, long reach. Is that, that's the normal for, for fiber. That's Every fiber cable has this at the end? Most of the Most fiber, of fiber yeah. cables. This is a second transceiver, this is SFP transceiver, this is XFP transceiver. Uh, this does only 10 gig speed. Uh, this does speeds below 10 gig and up to 10 gig. Okay. But uh, the reach of this one is very much longer. You can uh, do long haul systems with XFPs. So this one, uh, this little box like this, yes. it transfer, it converts this to optical. Yes. And you put this at the end of the fiber cable, and it goes for how many kilometers? Um, you can reach with this one um, about 10 kilometers, but there are modules which uh, go up to 200 kilometers. Does that mean there's a lot of power going through? No. It's not dangerous. Power consumption is uh, around about 3.5 watts, and uh, the optical output power is uh, average between zero and plus three dBm. Nice. So, how much is this box? This box is, isn't that expensive. Um, yeah. You make it for cheap. We plan to uh, give, uh, provide it for free. Free. So, if you have uh, enough transceivers, you program. We we charge the transceivers. And you get the box uh, because you can't do anything with the box without our program. But who is selling the transceivers? We are selling the transceivers. Also. You sell you sell these things. Yes. Yeah, you sell this transceiver specialists. Okay, so you make the transceivers. We uh, yeah, we, we produce them and we, uh, we sell them. We how many them. millions you make every year? We make lots of money. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, how many millions of units do you sell every year? Uh, millions of units. Millions of units uh, worldwide. Uh, how many units? I don't yes. know. I think it's in the range of uh, below 50,000. But it's not only you two in the company? No, no, no. How many people is the company? Uh, ten, ten people. Ten? It's like optics that two now for Euromed that was founded last year and like optics five years ago. Whose idea was this one? Um, it was a, uh, we had a drink at night and we talked a little bit and that's how the idea came up. 